why do we need to even talk about nutrition? Why is it an issue? If I go back 400 years ago and I came to Catanning and I went up to a Native American, would I needed to talk to him about nutrition? What I had to say, hey, you probably should choose a salad over a Big Mac for lunch today. That wasn't even part of his consciousness, was it? Was it? It wasn't a choice for him. The reality is we were born in whatever year you were born. You're alive right now in 2014. And the issue is that's a double-edged sword. We live in this world that's really, really cushy now, right? I mean, I don't, my wife doesn't have to walk down to a stream and scrub my clothes out, right? You know, I don't have to go out and hunt tonight to make sure that we can eat the rest of the week. I can get a car and I can drive up to here, right? So those parts of our culture are wonderful. They're great, right? They've made, it's made us very sedentary and it's made life very cushy. But the problem is, out of convenience, from a nutritional standpoint, we decided that instead of adding nutrients to food, we would add convenience to food. And that essentially, in my opinion, came out of a two-working parent-family situation. And I'm not here to judge that or say that that's right or wrong. I'm just saying both of my parents worked. And when you could say to my mom, here's something you can warm up and feed your kids and they're going to like it and it's going to taste good, she was thinking, awesome. Not thinking that they depleted all the nutrients out of those foods, that there was really nothing of any value in there that she was feeding us, right? So I grew up in an era. I, I, I got into going to the gym when I was, was in high school. And for whatever reason, for me, I enjoyed it, I liked it, and I kept doing it. But when I was on a cardio, piece of cardio equipment in 1990, and you were, you were reading as you were running along, it said that fat was bad, right? That fat's the problem, that cholesterol and fat are building up in people's veins, and it's causing them to die and have heart attacks. And we need to get rid of fat, right? And it just, eat all the carbohydrates you wanted, right? And a lot of us gym rats were like, okay, that's fine, I'll just go burn more calories, right? I'll just run on the treadmill, you know, I'll, I'll eat the donuts and then I'll just run on the treadmill longer. But what we didn't realize was is that even though we were burning those calories off and we weren't carrying around excessive weight, the inflammatory process that those foods were creating was still happening inside my body. Are you with me? Whether you're overweight or not overweight, that's not necessarily the issue. The issue is, is that food causing an inflammatory response in your body?